presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Uh, okay, uh, looking good. Billy Ray feeling good to us. I posted this chart here. This is the weekly chart uh, showing the ABCD at the 382 that Jim Bartolioni from Bart's Charts gave us about two months ago. And uh, he's going to be our guest next Monday. And he'll be talking about this and a few other things that he's looking at. And he's, uh, as you know, he does a, a lot of long-term stuff. But he was very, very bearish at that time as were we because of the ABCD you can see the uh, perfect AB equals CD pattern on the weekly and it was exactly at the 382 folks that is spot on spot on right out of Gartley's book profits in the stock market by HM Gartley $1500 in 1937 which was the cost of three Ford automobiles it was a loose leaf binder of 650 pages I got my copy in 1970 and it was sitting in the garage until 1973 and then when I started losing money in 74 I started to devour that book especially pages 200 to 220 200 to 250 and that took us to a spot that I said well I know I can do it if I follow ABCD and I've been doing it uh, ever since you know I've added a few things along the way the astrology has been the most difficult uh, for two reasons for me folks uh, there's so much mathematics and esoteric stuff involved with it that it just really, uh, it literally bl just blows me away. Whereas ABCD is really quite simple, add, subtract, multiply, and divide. But I've seen some incredible calls on astrology that have uh, told me there's the answer. You know, that's probably where the Holy Grail lies. But I've always said on my bucket list that hopefully that will be uh, on CNBC or uh, Bloomberg, and it'll come from MIT or Yale or Indiana State, someplace like that, which will say, yes, this is why these markets work. And even then, people uh, won't believe it. And, uh, you know, and I, I, I am, I'm skeptical myself because when it gets down to push to shove, the one thing that gets me to the promised land is ABCD. That's all I really need to know. And uh, I talk to a very smart guy, John Jameson, every single day. And uh, he looks at it and he says, you know, he says he, he agrees with me uh, because he, when we wrote the book, the, the Floor Traders Handbook, it proved empirically that AB equals CD works 61 percent of the time. It just did over 30,000, you know, 15 minute charts on the euro and, uh, and it pays three to one. Now, does it always pay three to one? No, sometimes it's 1.2, sometimes it's 5.3, but you'll average about 1.8 to two. And if you're winning 61% of the time, show me a golfer that can win 61% of the tournaments or a basketball player that can shoot 61% of the threes. But anyway, that's what it's all about. It's about risk control, and that's what we want to be talking about. Now, the reason why I'm bringing the banking index up is because of this headline, in the New York Times this weekend. It was brought to my attention by one of our listeners here at TFNN. And it basically says the relationship of the three banks that have just gone under, you know, we had the Silicon Valley Bank, Signature Bank of New York, and then the Federal Bank of Los Angeles, whatever that was, those three have gone tapioca. And those three banks were bigger than the 25 banks that went under during the 2008 uh, real estate debacle. And if you remember, uh, NASDAQ gave up 85% of its value uh, during that time. Okay, so that, that, uh, that's a big deal. So let's, uh, let's remind ourselves that's what we're watching here. Now, also, the reason why we had the big rally in the stock market, I'll bring this again because Paul Tudor Jones is a very, very popular figure. And uh, this morning he came out, and as soon as he said he thought the market was going to go higher, 
uh, for a lot of different reasons. And right on CNBC, there were five analysts there, and three agreed with him, and two disagreed with him. So, you know, sometimes it's chocolate cake, sometimes it's strawberry cake, but whatever flavor you like, stick with that flavor and put your stops in and not worry about what other people say. That's why I'm a technician, folks. I'm a technician because of the fact that I don't try to listen to any of that stuff. I really don't. All I know is if prices are going up, there's more buyers. If prices are going down, there's more sellers. And that, my friends, is where I want to be uh, right at the point of D. Oh, I'm a poet and don't know it. I make it rhyme every time. Now, I need to show you this because this is really important. This is the credit default swap insurance that's going on over our treasury bonds, folks. Uh, whether our treasury bonds are going to go, I think this is, this is, if you ever want to see a tulip bulb, this is it. So I don't believe that this maybe goes higher. Maybe it goes, uh, look, look what we've done here in just, just this past uh, few weeks. And I, you know, this looks like Bitcoin, you know, uh, on a log chart, but I don't, I don't think this is going to stay this way. Now, I don't know how to short a, I don't know how to go long a credit default swap or a uh, uh, go long. I remember, I remember in, 19, in, in, 19, in 2005, I, w uh, I had known Tom Hugard about a year. I was over in London giving a live trading for a whole week to, uh, to six traders. Uh, three from the Middle East and three from London, uh, put on by a, one of the forex banks, and the the deal was they they paid uh, they paid me twenty five thousand dollars for the week, but I had to be profitable at the end of the week to the tune of at least three percent. In other words, I had to make three percent for the week, or I didn't get paid the twenty five thousand dollars. My expenses were paid, but I get no pay. But at the end of the first day, we were up about 11%. We caught a couple of really big monsters. So the rest of the time, you know, I, I tried to, I traded every day, made money every day, but I spent teaching just the ABCD. Of those six people, five of the six have been with me. Uh, one of them passed away, but five of the six have still with me to this day because I just did ABCD. That's all I did. And we were in the midst of, of all of these uh, different things you know, different things happening in the market. And uh, it's uh, it's really amazing. Now, you say, why why would you do something like that? Well, the, the bank was willing to pay me X number of dollars, but I said, hey, look, and, and that, what we did was I made the, the amount of money, I made the 25 grand that they paid me, but the reason why I wanted to do it was to, you know, show, yeah, I'll, I'll play, you know, just, just, give me a, just give me an equal playing field and I'll play. And when we get back from this, I'll tell you another story. It went back even farther, way back in 1988, when I did I did the same thing. Uh, I did the same thing in Germany, where people didn't think I could do this. And I said, okay, you come up, you pay, uh, you pay your fee, and if you don't, if we don't make money, you get your fee back. And the people that were putting it on went nuts. And I said, look, I'll underwrite it. If I'm wrong, I'll pay it. Don't make any difference. I said, I'm going to do what I do, and I'm wrong sometimes. Heck, I'm wrong lots of times. But not when I'm prepared. When I'm prepared and I'm rested, oh, dead, don't fade me too much on those because then I know pretty much I'm going. And I'm just looking at the patterns, folks. These patterns are very, very predictable. Just like the, the one, well, I'm going to show it again because I think that pattern that Jeff did, uh, we talked about on the other show, that was the key to the whole thing. You think I was going to sit there and fight with that pattern? No, when we get back, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you that pattern again because it's that important to me. In fact, is when I spoke to Jeff today, I, I said, to, well, I emailed him. I said, you got, have to focus on this because it's the, it's the secret of why this stuff works. Let's take a break. 877-927-6648. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more. And he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30 year T bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. 
When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding the reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. NN.com. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating Investors. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I wanted to show this chart from uh, Jeff in New Jersey. And, and folks, I, I didn't want to think that, that I'm right all the time because I certainly am not. I'm right around 60% of the time. But when I have, when I'm in the midst of trying to teach what I'm doing and trading at the same time, I'm usually doing a pretty good job because I don't want to make any silly mistakes. And I make enough silly mistakes that you, you don't even have to worry about that. But this was a perfect trade. Everything lined up perfectly. The market came down and then it rallied back above here. And what he had done is he put his stop right above here. So that's a break even place. Now, someone asked me a question during the break. Did I ever have a case where I had a uh, you know, to pay everything back, I, I'll tell you, uh, it was very close. I'll tell you the bottom line. This was when we had the, Mark and I had the hockey players and eight other people. There were uh, 10 of them for a whole week uh, trading in Chicago up in the, uh, up at the, uh, uh, up in the top on the top floor there where the, where the uh, office was. And uh, we traded every day, 10 hours a day. And we made, and the deal was they had to make money. They paid five grand to, uh, for the whole week. And they uh, we had to make money every single day. We did Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. We had really good money. But on Friday, we were just about break even with an hour to go. And the big thing on Friday, we always went to Roditi's for lunch. And of course, the markets, you know, close a little later. And so I had a short position on in the S&P and I had my stop. Uh, just about, I had to put my stop uh, where it would have to be. Uh, I couldn't put it at break even because it was too low. So I had to put a stop where the loss would only be like a hundred bucks. But then we had to re we had to pay, we had to re return the twenty the fifty thousand dollars. And Mark said, "Oh, I don't want to do that." And I said, "Well, I said we really don't have any choice." And I said, "Okay." And so I said, "I I put an order in to cover down, and then uh, and I also had an order in, and we were Rodades." And no cell phones, folks. This is you're talking about 1990, 1992. And uh, 
there was a report uh, something came out. Well, it was money supply, Friday money supply, and it, uh, it it really creamed, and we ended up making a couple grand. And the people said there was no way they were going to ask for their money back because we had made really good money the whole the whole time, but we didn't make money on that Friday. So anyway, that's it. But the, the key to this is what, what Jeff did. He handled that perfectly, and that you, you give him 10 of those, he's going to win on six, okay? This one he broke even on, and that's uh, pretty much it. But he knew when he was wrong, and that's the whole key. That's why when these patterns fail, and when they fail, you'll see it right here. That's when you decide that, yeah, this one didn't work. And that's why when Jeremiah called earlier, I said, watch that, because when that happens, uh, you got to get out of Dodge. And that's uh, really what you're paying attention to as you're watching these things. And they jump around a lot. As we you know, well know. Okay, now we need to talk about a couple of things from the futures markets here. Uh, I know you folks are mostly related to the stocks, but we have a uh, situation yesterday. Let's put it up here Friday, and the market backed off. This was uh, this was while we were on the air. This was the uh, heating oil market, and you can see the heating oil market made the 382, and it's coming down here Sunday night. And it got down to about this level right here. And from that level, it <clears throat> excuse me, it took off and it started to rally here again. You got a nice profit in here. But once you get above here, something is wrong and you got to get out of Dodge. On this particular one, you had a pretty good place to put your stop to lock in a couple hundred dollars. Because if it gets that close to that level, you're most probably your risk is too great. So that's why you, you try to handle that one. This way. Now, the reason why I brought this heating oil up because this is a pattern that that we're going to be talking about a great deal the next time we do our day trading session, uh, because this this is a this is an awesome pattern. This is a one three five pattern that fails, folks. You see this triangle that's right here. That's known as a dynamite triangle. Uh, that's what uh, John Hill used to call that. And what I'm trying to do is to uh, get it set up so that when we start to see these, that we'll have a really good chance to do it. There's a small one right here. You see this little, small little dynamite triangle right here? The good part about this, folks, is when they start, wow, look out how they go. And if it's wrong, you're out immediately. It'll just go, it'll tell you, say, uh-oh. This one's no good, and then you move on to the next one. But these are incredible because you've got time and price, everything lined up so that it's ready to move down. I know there's no fundamentals involved, but that's what you get when you do 24-7. You don't have anything to do with that stuff because it's just not uh, it's just not worth it. Now, since we're back on the crude oil complex, I wanted to go to gasoline next because this was acting quite nicely uh, even though it was down two days, you see we made the, the big bottom down here at the 78% level, and we had a nice rally, you can see, and then it right at the 382, and you'll never guess last night, folks, where the low was. Johnny's raising his hand over there. He's got his placard up, and it says 382. Yes, the low last night stopped right at the 382. That was the turn in the whole complex, crude oil, gasoline, and heating oil all turn when gasoline, our Rob, as uh, uh, Mike Moore always talks about it, that was the turn, and it, everything turned green, uh, you know, right after that. So those three twos work. Uh, again, they don't work all the time, but when they do work, they give you a really good chance of putting some things together. Now, here's the one that is frustrating the heck out of us. This happens to be the largest crop we have in the United States. This happens to be the December corn. This is new crop. It's the one that's being grown right now. As you can see, we have a perfect ABCD down here at uh, 492. Uh, it was trading at uh, 503. It looked like only nine, eight cents away. It's going to be a mortal lock to get that trade off. And sometime in the middle of the night, somebody started buying corn, beans, wheat, everything that grows, and boy, they all exploded to the upside. So we missed this bottom. So the $64 question is, what do I do now? Well, to me, and we just had Rich Anderson on, this is just the first rally. I mean, we, we're going to have lots of ups and downs in this thing, but we've been down for week after week after week. And, and the 382 retracements here were all there. I mean, we used to do these 
uh, on the shows, on the commodity show, showing you the 382s of uh, the market doing that. And now what we have to do is we've got to prepare ourselves That'll, which, which what I'll be doing tonight on the video is, okay, let's see what our first 382 is going to be on the downside. So we have to decide what is going to be our risk if we have to buy at a much higher price. Because this is very, very close, folks. Remember, this is a weekly chart going back two and a half years. Hello, operator. This is a, this is a pretty big bottom that I think is unfolding here. Monster moves. Like Rich said, Kansas City wheat was up $5,000. A dollar a bushel, folks, and we're up 67 cents in our, you know, over three grand a, a bushel in the wheat. So these are these are big patterns, big swings, and that's what we want to be looking at. When we come back, we're going to take a little little de uh, in depth look at some of this uh, grain markets here, because I've got to do that for tonight. I might as well do the homework with you guys. So, eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, back with Larry Pesavento. We're going to talk about some grain markets here. We're going to start out today with the uh, soybean meal. And the reason why I wanted to bring a couple of different factors here to take a look at it. But uh, this is going to be uh, the uh, May meal 
Uh, this It'll be going off the board here in a few weeks, but uh, that's the main one that we're still uh, watching right here. But you'll notice that we made the uh, uh, retracement here, beautiful ABCD pattern uh, right down at this level, setting right at the 78% of this level right here. And we had a very strong rally. You can see the rally today. That rally today went to the exact 382 of this high. So now we have... There, as you can see, the ABCD to the downside. That's spot on, okay? Then you have a nice rally. That rally was over $2,000 to the bottom, and from the bottom to the top, and the 382 was exactly here, and you can see it sold off uh, almost $1,000 today. Just from that, that tells us something, that that is an intermediate high. So what we want to do is to watch this level coming in here. Now, that's meal. Remember, meal is 80% of the soybean crop. Of the, of the soybean itself, 20% is the oil. Okay, now the next one we want to look at, since we're looking at the meal, we're going to take a look at the soybean oil. Now this happens to be the one that bailed my old kabuki out way back in 1975, 76. It was a pattern just like this one. And uh, basically we had a three drive to a bottom pattern right here today. And it hit the. it's had a pretty good rally, but this is the first spot that I want to be looking at it starting tonight folks I'm going to start looking at soybean oil look at this it's a beautiful a b c first is we had a beautiful butterfly pattern right here which is an a b c d to the downside now that's not a three drive because this is higher this is lower so your three drive is here drive one drive two drive three count the number of bars down bada bing bada boom bada bing bada boom my problem was my order was sitting right here, a penny lower, and it didn't get a penny lower before it rallied. So what I've got to do now is to reevaluate where to enter because I think the bottom is in with either today or tomorrow. So we really need to be watching that. That's what will be covered in the video when I start to uh, go through those uh, tonight uh, as we go through. Now, let's move on to the next one that I want to see, and that is the wheat. Now, the wheat has been... This well, to get the chart up, Larry. It'd be really nice if you got the wheat up. These charts are the same, folks. It, they could be Microsoft, Apple. They don't. There's really no difference. But there's the there's the three drive to the bottom right here. No, nobody wanted the wheat. It it actually uh, tried to go below six dollars a bushel. It couldn't. It got to six oh three and a half, and then it made an A B C D. Look at this A B C D up. A B three eight two A B C D perfect and what does it do it corrects 60 percent look at the abcd pattern here folks a b c d right there setting what at what, what price 618 and boom look today we went all the way up to the 78 percent level already that's probably telling us that we're looking at a big a b c d going much higher much like what rich was talking to us about kansas city wheat so and we've already talked about the uh, the Christmas corn. So th those are the main ones that I that I want to be be watching because that's those are the ones that are going to tell me where I should enter, and because I've got to find a spot. If I miss the, I, I I try to get this close to the the best possible place I can. Like I thought I had it nailed today in the corn, it didn't happen. I thought I had it in the oil and it didn't happen. The others worked okay. But this uh, this one here didn't uh, you didn't there was no harm we didn't lose any money but uh, we want to be watching those uh, you know very very closely oh someone says uh, what happens when something just goes way beyond where you think it's going to go we've got one of those happening right now folks I don't trade this one just like cocoa I don't trade cocoa coffee or sugar but uh, just personal reasons that's all from going back to. 72 and i said i'd never do it and i haven't anyway you can see uh, all of these a b c d's look at these little tiny pullbacks that we get my god this goes down two days and up 10 days i mean this is a a monster move we haven't been this high in sugar in seven years folks seven years it's been that 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 long a time that we haven't been that level so that's what we're paying attention here now is to see uh when we get up here i will not have a trade on all I will do, like I did in the cocoa, is I'll report it as a three drive to a top or whatever the pattern happens to be. But personally, uh, I I won't be I won't doing I won't be doing that. Uh, that I just uh, I don't trade coffee, cocoa, and 
and uh, sugar. And the reason why is I'm going to tell you the reason. In 1973, the market was limit up in both coffee and cocoa. And I had, <clears throat> I think I had four contracts on each. And I gave my broker the order, sell me four contracts of cocoa and four contracts of sugar. And they were limit up and I got filled limit down. And that was a that was a move of about six thousand dollars in each one. I thought I was uh, cheated out of twelve thousand dollars. I raised all kinds of holy heck over it at Conti Commodity, and I looked and it wasn't easy to get time and trades back in those days. But I just happened to pick the exact moment when the market turned. I was just a few seconds off of the exact high and I missed them both and I got filled instead of filled limit up I got filled limit down and that was why to this day I have never traded those and I believe me I've shaken that off but I you know I just don't want to do it anymore and uh, that's uh, basically it so I maybe I'm right maybe I'm wrong but I'm never in doubt but anyway that's why I, I really don't. Uh, I really don't do that. So, anyway, let's move on to uh, one other one here in the commodity field that uh, people have been been asking me about, and that is the uh, the coffee market because uh, we just hit a really really key level here uh, in the coffee market. I don't know why today they're asking about coffee, cocoa, and sugar. Nobody has for months. But anyway, you'll see here that we just made a perfect 61% retracement here. Uh, in the coffee. So if you want, you're in an uptrend, you can see uh, there's your 50% retracement, there's your 61% retracement. You got higher tops, higher bottoms over here the last months or so. So we're in an uptrend. So if you're looking for a trend to follow, uh, watch the coffee. It should stay above this 61% retracement. Two cents below that level, it's no good. But uh, that's where I'd be watching it. I haven't checked it today. Uh, what I will do is when the break comes up, uh, fact is, and let me just do it right now, I'll get up and take a quick look at this, and we'll get the old coffee up. I think I see it here under the Ks, and we'll see if it's holding uh, that level, and then we will know for sure. Hold on. Where are you, coffee? Oh, it's holding big time. So here it is. You can see here we've had a huge run here uh, on the upside here in coffee. So that 61% retracement was uh, uh, spot on. You can see it's jumped. Uh, ooh, it's jumped quite a bit, as a matter of fact, to several cents a pound, which is uh, that's a lot of moolah. Anyway, that's what we're paying attention to here today. Uh, any questions that you have? 877-927-6648. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. 
everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at tfnn.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, we're back. I wanted to go back and review what happened in uh, Europe um, today. Uh, this will be the uh, German DAX that we'll be looking at first, mainly in the context of ABCDs, because uh, you can see on this chart, you've got an easy ABCD pattern right here. Then you've got a straight up move. You've got the 135 pattern right here. That leads to the big ABCD to the downside. Then you have a really nice 135 pattern right here. There's drive one, drive two, drive three. There's your 382 retracement, your profit objective. I don't know what happened after this point, but uh, those were the way the patterns were setting up over there uh, on the uh, German DAX. If we look at it in the FTSE, which is difficult to trade, folks. Well, for me, I don't trade it at all, but most people in Europe don't even trade it. The reason why the FTSE is made up of foreign countries that are traded on the London, the foot, the foreign exchange, uh, the, the London Financial Exchange. That's why. I mean, there are a lot of pharmaceutical firms from uh, around the world, Switzerland and Denmark and other places. But the patterns are there, you know, and it, and it's got some beautiful patterns. You can see the, in the green, uh, the beautiful A, B, C, Ds to the downside. Uh, there's a really nice three drive to a bottom here. Here's a double bottom. You see where you make a double bottom and you have the A, B, C, D. And watch that closely because if you if you go below this level and you don't and it doesn't collapse, what happens? I mean, that means that there's no selling. And so there's a very good place to enter because there's not much selling. You just put your stop in and and see what happens. That's really what you're what you're looking at. So let's uh, keep that in mind. And then, of course, here's where we are. We'll follow through with this tomorrow. Uh, Alan Smith will always, uh, you know, update us on what's happening across the pond. So we'll be able to see uh, what's going on. I wanted to cover a couple of uh, banks that people have asked me uh, to talk about. One of them uh, was Morgan Stanley, and I'll get this up here. Uh, it's uh, This is a major investment bank, folks, that is not acting uh, nearly as bullish as it's as it should. You can see we made the ABCD pattern up here at the 382. We've come down and lack of rally here uh, is also a, a troublesome spot. So let's uh, let's remind ourselves of that. That that could be something that would be very very uh, um, unusual. So that's the main thing. And then the next one, of course, I think this is the one I wanted to. Uh, 
to show you. Uh, no, it's I think it's the first one. Is it? E nope, that's Microsoft. But let me let me affect this since I'm on Microsoft. Let's just switch over and take a quick look at Microsoft because this was one of the trades that I did for the folks over in uh, the Las Vegas. On the uh, I sold this uh, rally up here, and I sold it at uh, uh, 305. Okay. And I put a stop at six dollars, which was three percent, and I uh, three percent, wait, but three hundredths of a percent. Anyway, I just wanted to risk three dollars. The high was uh, three twelve, so I got stopped out right on the high. I don't know if it's been much higher than that, but we've had this gap and we have this big A B C D up in here. The same thing with Apple. I, I sold Apple at uh, 17111. I think that's where it was trading a little while ago. But the other trades that we did for them, there were total. We did a total of six over those eight days, and uh, there were five out of the six worked really good. The only one that lost was the uh, was Microsoft. So that's it. And uh, that's uh, the Mellon Bank. That's not. I want. Where is it? My J.P. Morgan. Here's one that's in trouble, folks. And this should be. This should be uh, uh, keep alert on this one. This is the largest bank in the United States, one of the largest banks in the world. I don't. It might be the largest bank in the world. No, that, that'd be HSBC. Anyway, let's take a look at this. <clears throat> uh, whoa! What happened? Okay. All right. That's all right. That's good. All right. There's our. <clears throat> there's what we're watching here. You'll see here that it's not rallying very much at all. And there was a 382 retracement right here, so let's pay uh, pay very very close attention to that too. Okay, so it's it's very very important. All right, now we got uh, oh question from someone uh, regarding the uh, gentleman that called in about the ABCD. How much experience does he have? I'm not sure. I just think a few months. And usually when you see that much excitement over a few months, that's a fact that he's at least starting to see the ABCD patterns. And some people, it takes a year to see it. Some people pick it up in five minutes. You just don't know. But once they pick it up, then they have something, you know, that they can work with. And that gives them uh, something that is, uh, you know, pretty, uh, pretty, pretty important, I think. So that's the key uh, to do this. Not how much money. You, you, you make, folks, it's how much money you don't lose, and that's where the real key really lies, all right? So let's uh, remind ourselves of that. Very, very important concept to uh, be reminded of. I'm trying to find the, the, uh, the J.P. Morgan because that's the, that's the leader of the pack, and I can't find it. Doggone it, Larry. Come on now. I know you got it here. So there it is. Here's J.P. Morgan on the weekly, and this is a bank that is extremely well run. And as you notice, that you can see that it is didn't have any trouble with the banking. This was the the banking collapse. You can see how quickly it rallied back, and it's still staying in a strong area. If this bank ever has trouble, folks, that's when the the old proverbial stuff will hit the fan, because that will mean that uh oh something's not right, and that's what we're looking at. I don't trade banking stocks. All I'm doing is looking at them because that's where the money is. You remember Willie uh, Lomax, I think it was in uh, Death of a Salesman, asking why he robbed banks? And he said, that's where the money is. Well, just like Woodward and Bernstein, follow the money. So I'm watching to see. Remember, the first three banks that went under were bigger than the 25 total banks during the 2008 real estate uh, thing. So let's... Uh, remind ourselves uh, of that. So I hope that makes uh, some sense to you. And maybe it will, maybe it won't, but we will certainly find out whether it will or not. So anyway, that's what we're paying attention to here uh, today. We've got a couple of seconds here to uh, cover one other thing that I make sure. Uh, yeah, I covered that. Uh, I think I covered, well, I, well, yeah. I covered the list, uh, natural gas again because this is a really nice ABC. Now, the natural gas should, sh sh should start to come down and form a 135 pattern right here, folks. There's one, there's three, and there's five, and it should come in in about three or four days. So for the next few days, I want to be watching it. I would like to see an ABCD pattern coming in right here. Because then I have a beautiful 135 setup. The question is, what happens if it keeps going higher, like above here, above here? 
changes my game plan, just like in the corn. I thought I was going to get it bought today. Not so much. It's rallied 10 cents. But that's neither here nor there. That's what we're looking at as we're watching these things. So let's pay uh, pay close attention to it. Very, very important that we watch these things as they're unfolding here. And I think we've got a break coming up here in a few seconds. But, folks, by the way, um, I always make this plea out there, but try to help your neighbors out there. Uh, there's people out there that are really having trouble and try to do a little something for them, okay? Doesn't have to be monetary. Just do a favor. Go to the market, pick up a prescription, do something. 877-927-6648. We'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. Hey, folks. Uh, someone asked me what was my most important chart today. I posted this chart of the credit default swaps. Uh, I don't understand it a whole lot. I know that's an insurance on treasury bonds, but to see something this crazy, uh, that one scares me because I don't know uh, the ramifications of it. Uh, are They're profound. I spend a great deal of time talking to John Jameson, who explains it to me. But, uh, you know, the fact that treasury bonds have never gone, at least in recent history, going back to after the Civil War, 
they've never gone bankrupt. But if that is the case, that is really bad. But the market's not sensing that at all. You can see stocks are holding well. I mean, the currencies are not going crazy. Gold's not going crazy. So uh, there is something in this chart. But uh, the fact that someone's willing to pay that much of a premium to protect themselves is, uh, to me, very, very important. So I'm watching that in, in the eyes of other markets, too. That's really what I'm... Uh, that's really what I'm trying to do as I figure those out. Uh, these doggone crank calls. I hate these crank calls. Anyway, <laughs> all right. Uh, I think we're almost to the end of the show here. My, some, of, some of my alerts are going off now, so that's probably something that is uh, pretty important to look at. So uh, tomorrow's guest will be Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights. We're going to have him on at 1.30 and also again at 2.30. And he has some, uh, you know, really great stuff that is, uh, you know, really, really quite important, I think. So we need to uh, pay close attention to that as we as we look at some of these things uh, going on. OK, that's actually pretty good. So that ends that. And now we're doing uh, the usual stuff. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. <clears throat>